So that last program had a bug whereby it reported that zero is negative, even though technically zero is neither positive nor negative. But not a problem. We can fix this bug by inserting another condition into our program. Specifically, at line 12, I'm going to hit Enter and then add else if n equals equals zero, open curly brace, close curly brace. Now you'll notice that I said and typed equals equals as opposed to just equals. Now that's simply because C is already using a single equal sign as the so-called assignment operator in an order to assign a value from the right to a say variable on the left. But in this case, we actually want to test n for equality with zero. And to do that in C, you simply have to remember to use two equal signs. Well, if n does indeed equal equal zero, I'm going to print out the following instead. Printf, you picked zero. Save my file, and now let's compile this as conditions one. Back at my blinking prompt, I'm going to run the program with dot slash conditions one. And let's do that same sanity check again as before. One for my int, which is indeed positive. Let's rerun this as conditions one with a second input of, say, negative one, which is indeed negative. And now let's test it with zero. Dot slash conditions one, enter, zero, and phew. I indeed picked zero this time. 